Hey, how's it going? This is part two of faux leather paper with uh, from parchment paper. So what I'm gonna do, I think I said I was going to put Mod Podge on these. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's put a little in the lid. Okay, maybe that's a little more than a little. This will also help me see if, with the ink tents blocks, to see if the color, if I put down the color completely. So with the ink tents blocks, you have to put down the color completely so that it doesn't uh, come back up when you put water on it or moisture. And this is definitely qualifies as moisture. I'll be getting my mat all mucky. Oh, I should bring out the the silicone mat. Nah. <laughs> no, that's wasting time. I don't want to waste any more time. I mean, I know I just started and everything. I just finished tonight. I finished the swatching video. So it's still Friday night. And my AC just came on not too long ago, and I thought, well, that's weird. Why is my AC coming on? Well, it is like 91% uh, humidity outside, but it's 70 degrees outside. And my AC is set at 76. Uh, I think, though, today it may have hit 80. And so earlier today, the AC did come on, but only one time. I thought that was interesting. And it wasn't until like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And I thought that was, I thought, okay, it took that long to, you know, for the AC to come on. I mean, we're just coming out of a cold front, so it seems understandable. And earlier today, too, I was in the garage doing some laundry. And it was, it was very nice in the garage. It was the floor, I was barefooted, and the floor was not hot. And it was kind of on the cool side. And I thought, well, the temperature, the high temperatures or whatever haven't reached the, the garage yet. <laughs> okay, what a lovely mess we have here. I am such a slob. It's curling on me already. I can see why some people do water this down a bit, dilute it, because even though it's liquid, it's just so it spreads out better. I think that's why people do it. Now the hazard of this is that it, it might wrinkle and fold. That's what it would do, by the way, if I added or sprayed water on it. I think, didn't I spray water on that small one? Need to come out a little bit. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was laughing because I have to press the the zoom in, zoom out button with gluey hands, but that's okay. I used this finger right here, the ring finger. <laughs> the unglued finger, I should say. I turn this around. I seem to be do it better this way. The right-handed way, I guess. Since I am right-handed. I don't think any of this is coming off of my fingers, so... 
I think it's right. I think I did it right. Yeah. See, I'm trying to... Now, even though I'm making wrinkles, I am iron, ironing... I can't say it. <laughs> Crafters Monday. can't say the word. Ironing out the wrinkles as I'm going along. So I'm going to just do... Oh, I don't know where I'm putting it. I want to uncurl the edge here. I see that that corner seems to be folded in. Also, after after I ended the part one video. I colored in the other side of the small sheet and this sheet as well. I think I said I was going to do that off camera. So that's what I did right after I finished this video or the part one video. I wanted to do that. Make sure that I did that right away. So, you know, I wouldn't lose my momentum. get started with other things like work. Okay, I think... I think I got it all. Okay! Now where can I put all this? <laughs> so I want to show you, there's the back side I did. Okay. So, after editing, well, actually, during editing, I thought, you know, I could try crayons and try coloring the side. I actually did this side, and what I then did later is, I just did this one right before coming on, this part right here. And what I did was I went like this, and it took the color off. This is a Crayola crayon, so I used a baby wipe, and I, I was thinking, uh, <laughs> a crayon, Crayola crayons, look at that, are not, look at that, <laughs> they are not water soluble, to my knowledge, but the color apparently can be removed with water or moisture. This is all almost all water this baby wipe is. And I thought, okay, I gotta my hands are gluey. You think I remember to do that before coming back on the camera? No. <laughs> wipe my hands off from the And I thought, oh man, I totally ruined it. But I don't think I did ruin it because I don't think I, I wasn't able to get the pattern that I wanted to get, you know, before I, I, when I put the ink tense blocks on and I said, look at that, that is so cool. I mean, no, I don't want to get it wet, you know, but I needed to get it wet to get the desired leathery look, you know. I just thought that was interesting that I was able to take it, take off the color. So, no, I cannot get the same desired effect that I wanted to get. So, what I did was I took a piece of mixed media paper and I found I found a mess of crayons upstairs in like a Ziploc bag. I think it was an actual Ziploc bag. Maybe it was an HEB bag. And I have black and different colors of brown and like a, like a reddish brown in there. And 
I took out my mixed media paper, a big sheet like this, it usually is like this, 9 by 12, and I used one side to get the crayon started, so to speak, like uh, to go like this, because they were very old and had, they were stuck together. And I'm wondering if I tried to use them to make different designs, melting the crayons, you know, to make different designs eons ago, by the way. <laughs> like, I haven't done that in a long, long, long time. So I just kind of went like this with all of my colors and I did different browns, you know, uh, the different browns that I have and the black to get it going here on the side right here at one point I think I even took a pair of scissors and and I, I got the still have glue on my fingers uh, to kind of peel off whatever coating was there and preventing the coloring and then taking it to the parchment paper first now this one's damp and I was thinking ah, it's not giving me that same design that I, I that I thought was so cool on the parchment paper when I did it with the ink tense blocks. So it's good to know that it works like that on the ink tense blocks. So then I took another sheet of mixed media paper, I cut it in half ish, <laughs> half ish, and used this for my practice sheet. And this one, it's not done on the other side. Uh, this one is 9 by 12. I think it's maybe anywhere between 80 and 90 pound paper. It's not very thick. Uh, and I got a, a very similar effect. Now what I did here, I'm going to zoom in up close and personal, is I took a black crayon, sharpened it, with my Prismacolor pencil sharpener because <laughs> now you might be thinking you ruined it you ruined that sharpener but it was already ruined it it doesn't I can't get a good sharpened pencil from it even when it was brand new so I thought well might as well sharpen crayons with it then uh, so I did that and then I just went through and traced all the little hill parts you know all the little hills <laughs> and that's what I got from it. That is so cool. I really like that. So that's as close as I can get to making that design. Of course, you know, I didn't I didn't co color the hills on the parchment paper like this with the black with the black uh or even the the what's it? The bark colored in ink tense block. But this is this is what I got. Okay, I have my tape, three inch wide, super thin, and a piece of white parchment paper. I don't know, it feels like a, it feels rough to me. What is this one? That's really strange. And I'm going to fold it over and do it like that. Alright, and... Woo. I'm going to fold this one over too, although I'm thinking I might cut this one down a little bit. Oh no, maybe not, because on second thought, I can use it. It's, it's a horrible crooked cut. <laughs> I am not going to cut it. I'm not going to trim it right now because... It will be easier to do once it's been taped together because it makes it a thicker. It makes it thicker like this one is much thicker now. There will be a, a cut. I mean a fold up here, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. You know, it, it only works when I'm off camera. That's how it goes. Perfection occurs. Well, that's not true, but <laughs> I thought I would say it. It sounds like it should be true. Okay, let's see. And 
Did Tammy take into consideration? No, she did not. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine, we'll do it again. No problem. I wanted the whole thing to... No. <laughs> Parchment paper is not cooperating. The reason I wanted to move that over... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I shouldn't worry that it wrinkles because I'm going to crumple it anyway. I'm going to crumple it anyway. Hello. <laughs> should I stop saying hello? I should stop saying hello. I'm trying to figure out what, what that is. Also, I, I found out that when I do this, this will fit all the way across, but I have to make sure that I put it like that. Or it won't. And, all right. Just a minute. <laughs> and... If I go a little over, the tape will stick to the mat, which is not silicone. Let's just do it like this. I really like it that I can pull it up. Oh yeah, see I'm not looking at it right. Like uh, I do need it to be a little bit closer. The fact that it's curling is driving me bonkers. And I don't have far to go either. I'm a bonker on the bonkers meter meter. Oh, I can't even talk. Okay. That's a lot. Oh now I need to <laughs> just a little bit. Wow. Maybe that was a bit too much out of the way. Now, where can I put this? <laughs> I don't know. Put it on the paper towel. As you can see, I am trying to line it up. I'm not going to worry about this end not being taped because I will probably cut that off. Wow, that's a <laughs> that's almost a straight cut. I thought it was going to be super crooked. Okay, also I want to cut this part. If I can can't get a grip. Oh, so it didn't go all the way out. Oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. It didn't stick too much to the scissors. Okay. So you can see that I missed a spot, but I... <laughs> it's okay that I missed the spot. Okay, what am I folding? Okay, <laughs> I really like that I can pull that tape up and re 
replace it. Re is that the word? <laughs> no, not that one. Let's try this one. Reposition it. That's the word. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Okay, now here's the tricky part because the tape doesn't stick. To the paper I know I got it off I was able to do it okay maybe I'll do it maybe I will do it like this and stick it to that okay now yes okay that's that's the ticket right there no curling thou shalt not curl Oh, that, 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 that. that's okay. <laughs> that part's okay. Okay. Now, this might be actually extra thick because I'm putting strips of tape all across it and you can't really see this right now but since you saw the others <laughs> you pretty much know what I'm doing taking the the tape off the I'm taking the liner off the tape okay, again it does not matter if it wrinkles like lots of wrinkling too by the way <laughs> Even though I'm taking my good sweet time here. Because I'm going to wrinkle it anyway. Oh yeah. Uh, that's like on camera, not not such a <laughs> I did it. Okay, now I'm going to trim it. <laughs> I know I should do things like measure. Where's the fun in that? Eyeball it. Oh, now it's stuck to my fingers. <laughs> Comedy of errors there. Sticks to my fingers and everything. Wow, look at that. That's like, that's at least, um, it looks like, like three quarters of an inch or something. Over half, that's for sure. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just showing you. Am I going to do something with this? Well, of course. I don't want to waste it. Now it's indented inward instead of outward. I can't win. Just can't win. Okay, and then... Oh, yeah, I have to do this. I have to do this one. now this is also Reynolds uh, I think it's Reynolds Reynolds unbleached yeah I, I have links in the part one video faux leather paper from parchment paper it also makes it easier to crumple it but it's easier and harder. I, I can't explain it because it's thicker. Oh, this is much thicker than than the little one that I made. It's much thicker than this one. Because I added uh, two, you know, two additional sheets there or an additional sheet. So why? <laughs> you might be wondering, 
why are you smoothing it out if you're crumpling it? And this is what we do. <laughs> There's no thought going on. But that's what we do. We pull it back out. We smooth it. It doesn't really smooth it, by the way. <laughs> and then we crumple it back up to get more ridges and nooks and crannies in it. It kind of feels like it's oily, and I think that is because of the silicone coating on it and the fact that it's taped together. Yeah. It's awesome. And now I have, I can do it this way. <laughs> I'm trying to take out that wrinkle. I don't know why. Why am I trying to take out that wrinkle? Hey, I did a decent cut job there. Not too bad. I might require like a little bit more cutting off there or trimming or something. But hey, I might just make it just like this and not not do any trimming. I'm going to do it like this. This way. This way. That way you can't see. Okay, I'll take that part off. <laughs> um, I can do it. No, maybe I can. I don't know. Perfect. <laughs> Give that a thumbs up. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do this one. Should I just do, like, put the tape on this side and join it with this side? I'm going to do... I'm going to cut it. hope it doesn't roll off the table after I do that. <laughs> I'm going to eyeball it. Wow, that's uh, too much on both sides, so I'm going to cut a little bit. off sorry for the crinkles if they bother you you can always turn the volume down oh no <laughs> oh that's not good at all okay great because <laughs> I was thinking my luck I would get the liner just the liner Maybe I can be a smidge more exact. That went surprisingly well. <laughs> surprisingly. Now I think I went over the fold line. Oh. Interesting, right? Hey, that was, that was much better. I still have, <laughs> that was much, much better. That went much more smoothly. I should say. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. You can kind of see, oh wait, that's a, those are scratch marks. Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of interesting. sticks to the scissors then the scissors are non-stick but they're non-stick for I would say normal tape I wouldn't consider this this tape to be normal because it's so thin like sometimes when I cut really thin uh, strips of it then the liner will come off and it'll leave the, a little strip of tape right there on near the blade. 
near the blade, not on the blade. Now, would I be, oh, folding it maybe. This way, this way, this way. Folding it this way. Oh, you have the, oh, I can make like a little, a little book like this. Man, this is, uh, now this was one, one side, glue on, or glue tape on one side. This one hurts to crumble it. Why? Because I put one side with tape and then folded the other side over it. Maybe that's why I had less wrinkles. That's why I had less wrinkles. That's what I'm thinking. The amazing things that pop into my brain. I was also thinking that once the the pieces of paper, parchment paper that I covered with Mod Podge, once that dries, I have to cover the other side. It didn't take long, did it, to cover it? I can fast forward through that one. It's a good stress ball. <laughs> Make a parchment paper stress ball. Dog says, dog, the dog agrees. I really like the feel of it. Actually, this one, I like the feel of it. This one feels, I can't explain it. It doesn't feel as oily, I guess. Oh, this one is... I, I can't explain it. You have to go get this tape. I'll link it. And parchment paper. This does feel... I did make a comment about... Oh, wait. We have to let the dog bark. Oh, I, I think I said in part one that this felt a little thicker all by itself. Okay. So these are dry enough to flip them over and paint the other side, <laughs> so to speak. I will do this one in real time, and I'm, I'm wondering if when I put the Mod Podge on here, will it make the, the color blend or bleed or disappear? I don't know. I'm going to find out, though. This one in real time. And maybe I'll just do this one and then sign off. And then, you know, because you already saw me do this side. And maybe it's going to look the same as this one and this one. So, I don't think it's going to be that much of a difference, if, if there is a difference. But that looks really cool, right? Maybe there will be a part three. <laughs> like, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> That's part three. I don't know if I'll call it part three, but... Okay, let's see. You know, Stormy hasn't come by to visit, which I think is kind of strange. When I was setting up, I thought uh, she came down from her balcony, her throne. And I thought, oh, she's going to come over and ask for coconut oil. So just be prepared. You know, I, I hadn't started my video yet. I was just in setup mode. But she didn't do that. She went back up to her little balcony to look down on her land <laughs> her land occasionally when she when she gets down I don't know if I've seen her do this too often lately but she would get down like from where I was and after having coconut oil and she would look down the hall and, you know, she's always, always done that. I was just thinking about that the other day. She's always done it. And I'm think even when Blue and Coconut were not living here, and it was just Stormy, Stormy and me. And she would look down the hall and be like, what are you looking at? There's nothing down there. And I think that she was looking, maybe expecting Moki or Gypsy to come down the hall or something. 
but those had those two had already passed away and how does a cat know that a cat doesn't really know that right well, maybe she was wondering where are they uh oh <laughs> speak of the kitty <laughs> hi stormy you have to wait a bit because i have to finish this she's right behind me give me that look how about some coconut oil i'm surprised she's not talking to me because lately she's also trying out her voice like it's a new voice or something she can get really loud too she heard me talking, so she had to come and see me. That was so strange. <laughs> She'd have come, she could have come between videos. Why didn't she do that? <laughs> okay, as you can see, the black is not coming off. That's good. And I'm, I'm kind of happy that I didn't uh, re- Rink, oh, add water, that's it. I'm glad I didn't add water to this glue because then I think the color would have come off. Okay, this ought to look very interesting when I'm done with it because, you know, I'm not, it's not the, it's not faux leather paper per se because I didn't wet it beforehand. With normal paper, I would wet it beforehand and then crumple it up. But I didn't do that with this one. So this is just a plain old piece of paper with a design on it. I did crumple it. I think I crumpled. Did I crumple it? <laughs> I'm trying to remember now. Did I really crumple it? I think, oh yes, I had to crumple it because that's how I got the lines on there. I was able to draw the lines. As you can see, it's a little bit crumply there. Okay. So that's, that's what we have for that. And I will probably show you this in another video. I'll do these off camera and I will also show you what they look like in my next crafting video. And I don't want to tell you what the, the next project is. I don't want to give it away, so to speak. So I'll just sign off. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a creative day. Bye.